I had sensitive skin because I would uh, often come up with red patches which is in line with having an atopic sort of an eczema which is mostly uh, type 4 hypersensitivity but it never was a major problem until I got into surgical training and even even in the earlier part of my training it didn't uh, affect my job that much because probably the things I was sensitive to uh, I was not exposed to them on a daily basis so it was all right the more I work the more I operated it will get worse it got really bad when there wasn't a single day I would not have to put ointment and wrap my hands up it was very painful to say the least thankfully the NHS dermatologist who was seeing me uh, listened to me because even though they told me I have got atopic dermatitis and it's not going to get better unless I give up my job as a surgeon I was very confident that there, there is an element in the environment or the gloves I'm using which is, a, which is a trigger in flaring up my dermatitis and because of that I insisted uh, to my dermatologist that I should have a patch test. They found out that I was actually sensitive to four different chemicals. They were all chemical accelerants used in um, vulcanization of rubber. So even if it's non-latex gloves, you still need some chemicals to speed up the process and those were being used in pretty much all of the gloves I was using. Armed with that information, I then wrote to three different glove companies and thankfully one of them responded back to me with regards to which glove did not have the chemicals. There were two gloves I was given the option to choose from. Uh, they were both from Ansel and the one that I'm using at the moment I was assured that didn't have those four chemicals. I was happy that with the new gloves uh, my hands were back to normal.